Thank you, Rita. So Defense Metals owns a 100% interest in the light rare earth deposit with Cheetah north of Prince George, BC. North of Prince George, BC. Um, we're 80 kilometers north, we're road accessible. Um, and the main elements are NDPR or neodymium and praseodymium. And those are used in the manufacturing of lightweight, high powered magnets, the, the strongest magnets known to men that you would find in electric vehicles primarily, uh, wind turbines, refrigeration, 3,500 military applications, lots of healthcare, medical machinery, uh, all your cell phones and computers have these tiny magnets, um, and every device really with a motor. So they're, they're needed, they're used, and you can see with the chart below, the demand for just EV demand in the next 10 years, we're gonna have to double production. And that's the equivalent of bringing on one mountain pass mine a year for the next 10 years. And that's the only producing mine in North America. And Wichita is a large enough deposit that's gonna represent 10% of global production if we were in production right now. So our hope is we'll be the second producer in North America. We can help feed mountain pass and we'll be producing about 75% of what they produce uh, as we get into production. As you can see with the chart below, China's the leader, obviously. They've got their own internal demands. They could gobble up their entire supply or they could weaponize rare earths. Um, that theory goes around. That, that, that theory um, hopefully doesn't happen, but I think, I think with their own EV demands, they're going to be using up all of their production. And so we're gonna need Western supply. And as Michael pointed out, the government seemed to be committed, but we need funding. Every single Chinese production facility is funded 100% from the government, so we'll need help going forward. So we've been working at it for five years. We've gone from a bulk sample in 2018 through um, processing, testing at SGS. We did a piloting plant for our flotation. We've done a pilot plant now for our oxide, which has produced 200 kilos of high-grade oxide, which we now ship around the world to potential partners in Australia, Korea, Japan, and Europe. Um, we're at PFS level. We've just funded our PFS, so that'll be complete uh, the beginning of 2024. We've got an updated resource on the way that'll be put into the PFS. SRK is acting as the engineers on the mining side, Hatch on the processing side. Um, We've got very good relations with the First Nations. It's McLeod Lake. Uh, we're in their jurisdiction. They're very active in the Site C Dam, which is a, a large project, obviously, in Port St. John. They've got Mount Milligan in their territory. They cooperate in that. And they're eager for us to move forward and partner with them and their suite of contracting companies that they control. Um, again, our PA was done with 4,000 meters of drilling. Chris Raffle at Apex is working on the updated resource, we're gonna add 10,000 meters of drilling to that, which will bring us all up, our categories up to PFS level. That'll be given to SRK. Um, our hydromat is already complete. That data is going to hatch now. And we're hoping to be feasibility level by 2024. In fact, we're hoping to start some of our feasibility level work this summer. So I think I'll leave it at that and uh, pass it to Rita.